back to Minecraft today, folks. Today is the day we upgrade our sheep farm. I did a little experiment, and right now I currently have uh, one, two, four by four by five area, which gives them a two by three area on the inside. And what I've been noticing is that when I want to harvest wool, that it's not very efficient because I go along this edge, I get this guy, I get that guy, I get one each, one each, no problem. I got two from him, can't quite reach him. Okay, he dropped three, but I might not be able to get that wool till I go to the other side. I could go in and get it. That's time consuming. I would rather much prefer like this. Run along here doing this. And as I run, I pick up everything because I'm going to narrow the distance. Narrow the distance of the, uh, the pen here. So uh, I'm going to do a couple experiments. I think what I'm going to try with is a basically something like this. It'll be a two So on each end I'll have a gate in the middle, and I'll only have really one space for them to feed grass off of. And what I'm hoping is that if I have a lot of these long pens, A, I can just have more sheep in there. Because I've also noticed that even though this sheep works well, I'll at most get five to six if I'm lucky. And i got to wait for them to eat the grass before they grow back more, more uh, wool. Which when I was building my wall here, it actually took a lot, like I had to wait. It wasn't too bad, but I'd rather, if I need a lot of wool, have it set up so I can just go collect it, or it's ready for me to collect, or I've been collecting it lots easily. So I'm going to rebuild my sheep pens to reflect this. I'm going to also was planning to move them anyways, um, because I wanted to have um, my tree farm redone. I moved it, I cleared all the way around, I built stairs up the back of Happy Junk there, down there, and I started clearing around just behind the sheep as well. I want my tree farm to be a U kind of shape, and in here I'll have my wheat farm, I have my uh, sugarcane farm, which I may or, not, may or may not automate, and I'm going to have a chicken farm, and a cactus farm, and a watermelon and pumpkin farm on the insides here so that I can basically do a loop I'll go like this all the thing would be farm access farm access so chickens and eggs and cactuses and sugarcane if I need it and wheat and sugarcane if I need it and then pumpkins and watermelons, you know, within this kind of rel relatively tight area, all feeding in. And may, I may eventually build um, more redstone systems to deliver all that, maybe even to a central focal point. But for now, anyways, I've got to move these sheep. So I need a new place to build them or to make a sheep farm. And I'm not quite sure where that's going to be yet. But I'm going to need an axe, and wood, and wheat, and I'm going to find a location and kind of get ready, and then I'll bring you guys back on. Alright folks, here we are. I decided against building back there yet, and I've cleared away an area here. So I think what I'm going to do is build a sheep farm kind of back, tucked in back here. And the way I'm going to do that is like so. One, two.
I'm going to rethink this design. Give me a minute. I'm going to play with something. I'll be right back. All right, I've uh, changed my design a little bit. I've decided to make sure it was centered with uh, Happy Junk back here. And I was going to have four lanes uh, with four pens of five spaces in each one. So when I have five sheep in here, I can have access and I'll just run across here, shear all the way down. I'll go to the other side, shear all the way back up and collect. And I'm thinking that will be more efficient. Um, other than that, yeah, so basically it'll just be a long, four long uh, pens. And I eventually I'm going to be building a barn here as well. So the sheep can hold the first level, which is fine. Uh, I'm pretty much out of... Well, I got lots of fencing left, never mind. I thought I had to make a bunch more. So it'll extend down to... Whoa. Here. And they'll have individual gates to separate them into groups of five, as well as to bring them in there so they don't get all confused, although I don't know if that matters too much. Um, and yeah, so I'll keep building. I'll go get more wood. And I'll bring you guys back when it's done, and I have the sheep inside. So I'm just going to record a little bit of a commentary here while we... Uh let this play out. I don't want you to have to watch me harvest and get supplies. Uh, I went on a kind of a mission and I wasn't talking, so... In any case, a couple things I wanted to bring to your guys' attention and a couple ideas I had. I thought it'd be fun to do story time. Kind of an element to the show sometimes. If you guys are interested in hearing some funny stories or anything like that. Uh, we can have a maybe a segment within the show or when there's times when I could potentially do commentary I'll do a story instead so uh, if you think that's a cool idea leave a suggestion or a comment about that specifically in the video so I can see that and see what your guys's reaction to that is the other thing I actually wanted to do was uh, do a impersonation slash um, different kind of uh, dialect or something like pretend to be stereotypical maybe French accent or Japanese accent or um, I don't know Eastern European accent and try to talk like that through the whole episode so what I was thinking about doing was having not not having them often <laughs> but uh, getting you guys to make a suggestion uh, in, in at a particular time when I kind of open it up uh, to recommend an accent uh, like Jamaican or uh, it doesn't even have to be purely ethnic accent it can be something like uh, you know, pretend you're uh, pretend you're, you're goofy no I don't know but you know, so when I open up, uh, I want to I want to practice in advance. So I'll basically probably open up a posting, or maybe we'll start with this video even. Uh, so if you have an idea for an accent that you think would be really really funny, uh, leave a comment. And for those other people who see the comment, if you have a preferable one that's already been named, just give it a thumbs up. And at the end of a I don't know a week or two, or when I get enough votes, and uh, eventually I'll. I'll pick the one with the highest number of votes and uh, the next episode that I make after that I will I'll use the accent in it and it should be pretty entertaining uh, I've done similar things in the past with a couple uh, plays or skits and stuff like that for for uh, friends and uh, stuff like that so there's that also you might notice, uh, like I put gates everywhere in here, so the flexibility of 
trying to wrangle the sheep into the pens. Uh, at first, when I did it, wasn't uh, <laughs> wasn't very effective. I wasn't quite sure how to strategically place myself in there to get them to listen. Um, but after a while, I kind of got the hang of it. it. Became a lot easier, as you notice. Um, uh, goes a, a bit faster, stuff like that. So I also decided decided on a design for a floor. I wanted wood on the out, outside since it's going to be a barn. Probably going to be incorporating a lot of wood into this build uh, and glow glow glowstone into the floor, uh, so it's nice and lit up properly and looks uh, kind of organized and neat. It's aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, so uh, one thing I pointed out, I think, in my last episode uh, or the previous one, where I built the original sheep farm, animal husbandry, I was only feeding one sheep per pen uh, some wheat, so that they would mate with their counterpart. But I, what I didn't realize at the time is you needed to feed both of them uh, wheat. So. I learned that lesson and started doing that. So if you have any concerns about that or why that didn't work, that would be why. You need to do both, as I will try to show you if this video doesn't cut out. I think it does, but... Alright, we are back. And... Here is our new sheep farm. Um, hoping, because it's only one wide, well, two blocks wide, allowing for one middle block for the sheep that will be easier to collect wool. We'll test that out in a second. What is it? I need to make that thing again. Okay, well, let's see here. Can make these guys mate. Do some animal husbandry. Yeah, I don't think there's any more room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seems to be the max. Uh, with the arrangement I have. So we'll... Oh, son of a gun. Should have known. Should have known. There's my sword. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You don't mess with me and my sheep farm. Let's see here. Anybody else? Mating? Mating? Yes. Uh, what else? What else? You two? You? One? You? That's it. One and one. Okay, well. I should be able to. Those guys. Those guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Little guy there, seven. Let's try these two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Sounds good. Let's try this. Maybe we'll wait till there's eight. I'm going to wait till I have eight in each pen. We're going to come up here and do a couple shearing rounds and just see how well it works. So we'll test that out a little bit later. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be it for tonight. Thanks again for joining us. Just so you know, there's going to be a barn here. Probably built up. Something like that. I need some chests here. Another 
chest. Alright, that's it for today's episode. Take care, guys. Bye.